but I'm going to take the option. I'm lucky to get the chance to do it all over again. I'll be 65 next Tuesday, and this being 25, 25, and this not being in 2010-2012, I would be stuck in this body, getting over and over and more and more decrepit every year. So anyway, they gave me one week to decide I'm going to go with it. Well, I've heard something about that, but uh, how they do it? In the letter, they explain the process. Basically, you go to sleep, and when you wake up, you're a newborn baby again. I have the same, I have to say my goodbyes when I go to the hospital in the beginning, up in Albany. I, I called already. Matter of fact, I called this morning and they gave me a date and a time to report. They only gave me one chance to do it. Now I gotta tell you, it's a complete new beginning and I won't remember my life, my past life at all. You mean you wouldn't uh, remember Matt or me or your sister's past life or any friends at all? No, I won't remember. I'll be born again to a new young couple, nationality unknown. May not even be in the United States. As you probably heard, this is a universal, worldly process. I hate the part that I'll never see you guys, your brothers again, or my siblings, the rest of my family, but like I said, I'm very lucky to have this op option to do this now, at this time in history. You're going too fast for me. What, what, oh, what does all this mean? Look, John, I have to report next week. So let's say a goodbye dinner. Let's have a good day, goodbye dinner. Because next week I'm going to be a newborn baby again, so place in the world. This is an amazing new beginning. Growing up again, going to school, being young again, being fresh and strong. I'm very excited about it, but with a heartache of already missing you boys. I know not everybody goes for the option, but uh, I'm ready for it. Um, what do you think about it? Well, that's the thing no matter what I think, Dad. It looks like you already made, made your, your frickin' decision, okay? Listen, John, I don't want to retire. I want to keep on working. I love the sunshine and the rain showers, too. I, I, I already miss you guys, but I'm, i, I got to do this now. They give you one shot, and I'm taking my best shot and going with it now. Uh, I love you. I'm going to see you later. All right, man. Looks like he's going to... The dude's going to be going for the trip. That, that, that option bullshit. Nobody has called him up and sent him up for a letter, give him a date and time. The old man's got a date and time and an appointment with the uh, devil already. Uh, you got to be kidding me. I heard a lot of rumors about this option thing, and that's an experiment. That the state really doesn't know what happens to these old people once they get sent on their way. Who's going to complain? They die, they don't come back. I'll talk to him, Jonathan. But I think it's too late already. He's already agreed to it. You know how he is. Once he makes up his mind, he goes with it. He's got a date with destiny. I'll talk to him then, but I doubt we're going to change his mind about anything. He's an old geezer, and he's very stubborn. He's really excited. I, mean, I haven't seen him like this in, in years, you know. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, special way. Eh? My golden child. We, 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 <laughs> we want to talk to you about this option thing. Whatever you're talking about, I don't know. Come on, you know I made up my mind about this already. You know, uh, let's not. I made up my mind already. I mean, you know, you don't know how I feel. I feel, I feel old. I feel decrepit. I can't go on. It's hard, hard for me to do my job every day. I can hardly walk. Man, I just want out of here, and that's how I honestly feel about it. Uh, I'll take my shot and make it the best one I got. I know I'm taking a chance, guys, but you got to let me go. If you're going to miss it so much, well, uh, why are you leaving in this freaking uh, abrupt manner, Dad? Well, I can't let you go. I can't let you go. <laughs> this, is not, this is not funny, man. I know. I, I heard the whole thing is bullshit. And that they put you to sleep like some old dog. There's no way of knowing, Special Ed. You could be throwing 10 to 15 of your years of your life away. Think about it. I, I already thought about it. I, I told you how I feel. I, I gotta go. I have to go now. They only give you one chance to do it. I gotta do it now. I, they don't give you a second chance. I, I don't want to grow old and decrepit. Look, when I come home from work, I gotta use my cane. I don't want to do that. I'm tired of being old. I mean, you know, I'm, I might be throwing away 10 years, but if, if it goes the right way, I'm gonna be my whole life all over again. Come on. 
Think about it. Maybe okay. they'll do the same thing. Okay, if that's the way you want it, Dad. Good luck. Maybe the same thing. We're going to be doing the same thing with the same day. Don't worry. All right. Good luck. Good reading. Jenny Troyes, I'm here for the, the option. I got your appointment for the option. Um, yes. Welcome to New Beginnings Hospital. Um, I got an appointment at 11 a.m., room 717. And the whole procedure takes about three and a half minutes, right? I hope. Yes, Ed. Uh, good morning. Your appointment is at 11. It's in room 717. Lucky you took my lines. <laughs> yeah. The whole procedure <laughs> takes three and a half minutes, but you already know this. Uh, it was on a conversation I had with you at the New Beginnings Hospital. You know, uh, I've been walking through the hallways, like it's really beautiful area. The trees are swaying, and uh, the sun's so bright, it's really a great day for New Beginning. I mean, there's so many birds around here. I mean, they, they sing. And I mean, the birds are unbelievable. Yeah, it sure is a great day for a new beginning. Yes, we have a lot of birds around here. In fact, New Beginnings director loves birds. That's his hobby. Oh. He has birds coming here from all over the world. It's kind of strange. So just put your bag down, relax, sit down here. I have to give you an injection and a glass of medicine. It tastes like orange juice. You'll fall asleep, you'll wake up in a whole new life, a new beginning. That's great. There's really nothing to worry about, Ed. Leave it in my hands. Okay. You're, in, you're, you're in for a fine, amazing adventure. In re adventure. Thank you, Doctor. I'm really excited. I'm ready for the big ride. Okay. You drink this. Thank you. Another cup. Another hand. Don't knock the cup over. Okay, I'll see. You're going to feel a little pinch. Ah. Okay. You relax now, Mr. Thank you, thank you, Doctor. Good luck. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, oh man. This is great. What the hell is that, 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 that noise? What, what the hell is all that chirping? My oh, God. This can't, I, I feel good. But what is this? What is that noise? What's that big... I'm up so high. What's... I hear bells in a cross square. It looks like St. Peter's Basilica looking down there. Holy shit. That's the Vatican. I'm in Rome. All these birds roll around me. What is this stuff? And, and geez, I got plumage. I'm a freaking bird. I don't believe this stuff. Oh, God. It's a nightmare. I'm in Rome and I'm an Italian pigeon. Oh, oh, God. That was a pig just spit in my mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. She just, she just spit in my mouth. It tastes good, though. Oh, it tastes delicious. Oh, man. My rooms and four lives are almost fully developed. And she, she, she flew away. It looks really good, though. But the bells are driving me crazy. And these must be my brothers and sisters next to me. I'm a freaking bird. What the hell? I'm an Italian pigeon. But I'm so happy, happy my, I don't think that my family doesn't know that I'm in this nightmare. Oh my God. But she flew away. But I'm a flying rat now. Jesus. Well, one thing's for sure. At least I'll, it'll be fun to learn how to fly. That's it. I'm going to try to